Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and welcome to the T114. I just have one little scene I wanted to show you from my own gameplay before we get into the replays, which I guarantee you are a special treat today, or tonight, or whenever you happen to be watching this. But you are no doubt familiar with my love for T114, and you will see uh, one of the things I love about this vehicle and that is sneaky breaky gameplay. We're using our ears to determine where the enemy is. We hear someone coming as though they're about to come around this corner and shortly, patiently, patient, carefully, carefully. Okay, we're a little bit less patient than we need to be here. <laughs> and there he is. He fires into the architecture and we managed to get the kill. We almost screwed that one up, but uh, you know what? It worked out well enough for us. A little bit of skill, whole lot of luck. It's a grand old time. I have been playing top tier with the uh, Apache Paten, and it's it's stressful. <laughs> it's not the best, and I've had the girls crawling all over me lately because they're getting a little stir crazy and uh, they're just growing into this phase where they need me all the time and it should persist for the next 50 years or so and <laughs> witness eternity I just saw through the world there and the first enemy to survive my first hit <laughs> was the S no that's not the STA one it's that other it's that other Japanese tank nobody wanted. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, but 6-7. Yeah, not too much of a competition, but my real goal was to get into some close air support, or at least an aircraft with this match, so I'm happy with a couple of base caps and three quick kills. And that's going to just about wrap it up for a little look at my life in the game of War Thunder. When I was enjoying my life, I have a whole five or six kills in the uh, in the Apache today. <laughs> oh man, uh, in enduring confrontation, the Ka 50s are just eating everybody for breakfast. It's uh, it's pretty disgusting. Well, that is what it is, and that is that <laughs> for. The little toaster and now to the replays and first off we have the cone colts very own stalin's pimp cane in a sim battle i don't know if i've shown you a tank sim replay before and i was happy with the results spc is going to get more than a dozen kills in this match a little bit less surprising in the SAV but still incredible especially for sim where I would say arcade is a one RB is a two and sim is at least a three when it comes to how difficult it is to get those kills there's always the little extra added flavor of your allies mistaking you for an enemy and blapping you into the shadow zone which is something that I have occasionally been guilty of in sim as well although I uh, I try to be careful and taking some heavy fire in fact being set alight by an aircraft looks to be a duck there is not much a ground vehicle can do in sim against excuse me I'm a little bit sleepy it's been a long day against a committed air attacker pilot but having a 100 and what is this thing 120 millimeter something like that uh, anti-aircraft auto cannon definitely doesn't hurt of course it's not ordinarily anti-aircraft but you can be just about any damn thing in the SAV 
if you want to save and also get in on the Swedish ground forces tree, which by the way is delightful. I have yet to really commit to grinding it just because of other time commitments that I've had among them recording these incredible replays, uh, but with a double tap SPC is living the dream and selling the SAV to all of you, no doubt. Look at the mobility of this vehicle in sim. It's open-topped, thin armored chassis, trading protection for mobility and having the absolute definition of top tier firepower for its battle rating. Once you get into a little bit higher BR, and even against some of the more toughly armored opponents, I do not fear the SAV in KV-1 because I know how to KV-1. <laughs> but another quick two kills shows us why three even. This tank destroyer is a true menace climbing the fence as you do <laughs> in sim. And on top of that, look at how gorgeous this game is in cinematic mode. A twofold reason for hiding the display from you all. First off, look at this beauty and it does bring you closer to the immersion of a sim battle even though you don't always have a suave debonair narrator in your ear. Um, you do have a lot less UI in sim battles and I have found tank sim to be a lot of fun back in the day when I used to play that. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry if you have a thing about yawning. Um, I know it's it, it kind of surprises me but it really does upset some people to hear people yawning but I always find them to be delightful it's like a comfy stretch for your throat and <laughs> SPC himself stretching out the throat of the enemy and filling their face with disappointment <laughs> three more incredibly rapid kills bumping that number up even higher. We have an air kill and upwards of a dozen ground kills in total for this match that you are now witnessing and it's easy to see why. And in addition, that's not a terrible parallax for the sight on this gun. So that, that looks to be very workable. Some ground vehicles in sim as they all are forced to using the view from the gunner's sight have quite a bit of parallax uh, a lot of the American and British World War II era tanks would have a periscope sight which being mounted much higher on the tank then the cannon barrel itself would have a lot more parallax and celebrating in Middle Eastern fashion <laughs> uh, SPC finishes off an incredible match and not to be outdone Visky starting his own match off at least the action with a double barreled blast into the dirt Italy wasting money once again <laughs> But the economy hasn't quite gone bankrupt yet, so the recoilless mouse is going to skitter its way around the battlefield some more. With his first kill already in the match, Visky253 is going to get more kills than he has ammunition for this vehicle. You can notice that he's using Hesh, which is much more capable at causing damage when it does overcome the enemy vehicle's armor. So it's something of a trade-off, a lot more post-pen effect for that chance to have no effect whatsoever that Heat FS tends to avoid. Even so, even so, things are looking nicely for Visky already 
At this point, he could respawn in pretty much whatever he wants to, but he just won't be dying in this match. <laughs> so enjoy that and uh, be amazed. Uh, one of the things that I've always admired about Visky in his replays that I can never really pull off quite so well is his very aggressive playstyle. He does set up in good positions. He will lie in ambush, which is often the most reliable way to get results in War Thunder that are favorable, uh, but he'll also do things like taking shots on the move, timing things like a sailor, and using the rhythm, sorry, the rhythm method of gun stabilization that has slightly less ooh reliability, but the results dramatic, splatic, cinematic, and visky getting the heck out of that line of sight of that line of enemy tanks and deciding at the last moment where he's going to reposition through this vehicle. Eh, I can't remember the proper name for this tank, but it's the R3106 recoilless rifle, something like that. In any event, it's delightful. A lovely spaghetti monster that is limited only by its survivability and ammunition count. Of course, speed being a survival tool all its own in War Thunder and highly effective in the skirmish style battles of this game, especially on a map with all these delightful rolling hills that you can crest or arrest that you can maneuver around and mow down the enemy from positions they don't expect you to be. Another unexpected thing, I'm not quite sure what Visky was doing there. I didn't see an enemy, but I'm freaking blind. So maybe he was shooting at someone. Who's to say? <laughs> Certainly not I. One of the downsides to the way this vehicle reloads as he blaps a T-44, what was that? Uh, I think that's the 85, not quite sure. It could have been a 100. It's been a while since my T-44 days. Great backup for IS-6, by the way. T-44-100, that is. In any event, the, oh, excuse me. This little wheelie mouse, it just, you look at the little, the little headlights on the front kind of look like little ears. It's got the recoilless guns. It's kind of adorable and uh, maybe not an opinion that the relief driver of that uh, American heavy tank would agree with, but I digress. One downside, is he going to finish that sentence? He is! One downside to this tank destroyer is that when you are reloading ammunition in a capture zone, you reload one gun at a time. It would be nice if it would stagger to where you can have maximum firepower in a minimum amount of time, if you know what I mean. Uh, but such is not the case, so you might have to sit for a while to recover the amount of firepower that you want. Having access to that second recoilless rifle can make such a difference for this and any other machine. Was that tank briefly floating for a moment? I could have sworn. Upper frontal plate doesn't do the job, but the turret having taken severe damage and one at the chin of the neck of the tank blasting through the roof armor the way I can never seem to get Hesh to do <laughs> takes down the ammo rack and that is Visky's fifth kill already with many more on the way I assure you oh hi there <coughs> I did not hit her. I did not. One hit into the engine deck, a second through the side of the turret finishes off the vehicle. And Visky, once again, resting 
recovering ammunition. No, recapturing a zone. Uh, the ammunition resupply will have to wait. Italy, low on resources once again. <laughs> In any event, blam! Look at all these American heavy tanks. It's like people enjoy that American bias. Truly monstrous beasts of the fields and plains, the T-34 American heavy tank may be taking a step forward where the premium eh, T-29 takes a step back to being a bit more balanced. At 7.0, the incredible American T-29 has finally received a BR increase, and this is, this is not absolutely new news, but I'm still seeing the results of that BR change with the T-34 and the T-30, I think, question mark? I think that's what it's called, becoming slightly more popular. In any event, all of those American heavies very capable and even capable of dealing with the hash that Visky is slinging if he doesn't aim carefully. Uh, but you can see having that second cannon makes such a difference and it definitely should not be underestimated. Coupled with the incredible mobility of this vehicle, you definitely have a meme machine in the works. There are some severe downsides to this vehicle. Among them, uh, the gun handling is not fantastic, but after all of that careful aiming, it's got to feel good to get the side of an M41 to just easily, easily blapify everything inside that vehicle, starting with an ammo rack. But one of the things that I've noticed about the, um, what would you call it, the, the damage effect window when you destroy an enemy tank is that it will stop showing you what your round did at the point where it actually wipes out the vehicle. So if you blow up everything inside an enemy tank and you've killed the second to last crew member then it won't show that last crew member blacken, right? They nobody dies in War Thunder. They just uh, just take a nap for a while. <laughs> They're on a mission until the battle ends. <laughs> um, crew lock historically accurate, or how would I put it? Crew lock is cannon, I guess. Anyway, we have a couple more recoilless cannon shots to share with you all, Visky up to eight kills in a vehicle that has an incredible damage potential and yet requires a steady hand on the tiller as it were and yet such a killer performance now spotted by the enemy who just whiffs his shot as he tries to awkwardly get into position Visky himself without the gun elevation to take down his elevated foe now repositioning and how much exactly does he feel like positioning there are quite a number of options that the R3 has at its disposal with the enemy vehicle getting taken down by an auto cannon on the allied side Visky's decision is made for him this time it's a kill assist by proxy you might say <laughs> he definitely did his part now the battle starting to wind to a close Visky looking for that ninth kill already doing so well as a duster prevents itself and gets dusted into oblivion again so satisfying to hit those light-skinned vehicles with Hesh or high explosive rounds and just watch them cease. <laughs> Excuse me. How do you guys feel about schnarfy schnot? <laughs> so 
sorry. I have a cold and uh, I am keeping myself away from everyone, so no worries. <sighs> Excuse me. Beautiful, delightful, comfy throat stretch. You wish we should change the word yawn uh, to the phrase throat stretching. It just feels more athletically responsible, wouldn't you say? Oh, I wouldn't want to pull a muscle. I'd better do my throat stretches. <laughs> I don't know. People get weird about that stuff. Anyway. R3. Recoilless rifles. Visky, go kill somebody. I know you're so good at it. Nine kills. So close to that double ace in a match where he's gone untouched by the enemy and yet in such close encounters another shot on uh, a duster takes it is that a duster i'm sorry that might be the m42 you know what i'm talking about they're, they're so similar that it's weird that america even has two such similar anti-aircraft platforms especially since you could make the case that the uh the oh geez what's it called uh the lower tier one is even better in a lot of ways anyway i don't care blap double barreled shot for the 11th and possibly last kill of the match in an incredible display of r3 menace as uh, not only is the 20 mil version a deadly infantry fighting vehicle or whatever you would call it in any event that does it for today i have an incredible number of fantastic replays coming up and i've shared some of the spicy ones with you now there are a lot more ready for the future i did manage to record most of the replays that were sent to me before the major update but there are a, a number that ended up getting that red check mark of doom before i could record them my condolences in any event i hope you all enjoyed there is a discord link in the description of this video that i encourage you to take and come join the conversation there that is the best place to get in touch with me or to share your own replay and i'll catch you in the next video Bye bye